All right, guys, I've played a couple of games with Yorm just to kind of warm up. Since they changed his two to be so it doesn't go on cooldown anymore if he gets stunned. And he's still pretty bad. But I think it's more of a build issue than it is a Yorm issue. So I've been building Hunter's Blessing into Bancroft's. I think that's a mistake. I think Bancroft's isn't that good on him. I feel like I should be, be building Hunter's Blessing into defense. Because his base damage is pretty high. Hunter's Blessing increases his auto attacks to be on par. But I don't think he... I think he needs a defense more than anything. Let's pray it's not... Let's pray it's not Hoi. Please don't be Hoi. Please don't be Hoi. But yeah, I'm a little I'm a little sad, I'll be honest. Um, Yorm is so fun. He's such a fun guardian. And he's just... It's... It's mainly, I want to say it's mainly the fact that he can't build Polly and that he can't take Bull Demon. His ultimate can't be used to help take Bull Demon because it'll reset Bull Demon. Which means the only security he has for his Bull Demon is 2, which is good. But if someone tr comes and tries to take it and Yorm secures it with his 2, then he's dead. Oh, it's Hoi. Are you kidding me? Hoi's such a bad matchup for Yorm. It's so bad. And Hoi just got buffed too. Hoi can leap and then come back down. Hoi can alt while moving now. It's like, I don't even know if it's worth it to keep this recording going, but we're going to do it anyways because I don't have enough time to record a bunch of full gameplays. Alright, let's see. If I go... Bracer? Bracer's not even... He can apply days so easily, too. Oof. Oof, there's really no good answer here. Also, another thing with Yorm is he has no good pen items. He can't proc Demonic Grip. Spear of the Magus isn't that great on him. It's like, yeah, he has one's dot damage, but that's only if they stand in the pool, and no one's going to do that. So, he doesn't he doesn't apply things very well. Let's see if I can wait for his leak. Okay, good. I noticed that targeting with the two is a little bug right now, too. Alright, got some good damage there. Got his bracer. So in the early game, it'll be okay. Late as late game comes, it's not gonna be that great. Might be able to kill him actually if we just rush him down. Nope. Because he just sleep away. We don't have that many potions either, so we gotta save him. I think the defense start was the right choice, though. Okay, got his escape. If I keep getting his escape, like, he's not... He should be waiting until I start channeling my two, but he's not been doing that. You can also see me while I'm invisible, which kind of sucks. Please. Please let me kill you. Please let me kill you. Oh, so close. I'm almost level 5, too. I can't go for the cooldowns is just way too long. Uh, how did that hit me? All right, understandable. Is he really backing? Oof! I don't think I could take red buff because my one is down and I can't split the pools. Well, I'm not gonna be able to take this, am I? I'll get empowered base attacks for a little bit. All right. Okay, looks like I will get it. Okay, good start. Good start. You can kind of see how this matchup is going to get worse as this guy learns to play against Yorm. He's going to start saving his three. Here's how I predict this is going to happen. I'm going to win now because he doesn't know how to play against Yorm. He's going to start leaping over my two. He's going to start um, stunning me out of my two just so that it takes me longer to use it. And, you know, he can just stay in the air for my ultimate. So once he starts doing those things, I'm kind of done. Like, he shouldn't leap unless I use my two, which I think he's starting to learn. Yep, there it is. There it is. I can maybe ult him here. Yeah, you know what? I'm really going for it. That's his racer. Man, you're almost like impossible to hit.
Yes! Yes! Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I could see him ulting while moving there. That was pretty weird. <laughs> Yorm's all so hard to hit, man. It's not the, that great of an ability. In duel, anyways. Alright, let's go for... Actually, we'll go for a Nemean. Because I need to reflect some damage back to him. And it's physical damage, which is even better. I think this is the build. I think it's it should be Hunter's Blessing into Defense. Because Hunter's Blessing into Bancroft, yeah, you do more damage, but not that much more. But you die really fast. With Defense, you're doing about the same amount of damage, but you're living. Which is pretty good. His base damage is already high enough. I do think Rain Dose is almost a must on Yorm, so you have good auto attacks to take uh, towers. Otherwise, you can't really do that. So I think Rain, Rain does, Hunter's Blessing, those are a must. Those don't really have much wiggle room. The rest of the build, Bancrofts don't recommend. I've tried it. I've tried it enough. I, trust me, I've lost enough. I don't think Bancrofts is the strongest start on Yorm. Ow. And the hitting him kind of hard at least. That's weird because it hit me, but it didn't at the same time. Once I get gem, that'll be nice. Please don't bounce me. Okay. I could try to ult him here, but that might be a waste. I want to go for it, but I can't. Not worth. Unfortunately, not worth. I need some cooldown. Should I get Chronos Pennant? P probably. Or something else. Let's look at some cooldown items. I could get cooldown boots, but Speedy Shoes might be the answer. Honestly. Speedy Shoes might be the answer. Otherwise, Yorm is too slow, and he can't really disengage and engage that well. Plus, it kind of negates my dazed effect for when he leaps on me with his Mark of the Golden Crow. Oh shoot, red buff came up. Oof, I should have paid attention to that timer. So because my Tawari, or travel shoes, I was actually able to chase him pretty nice. So, yeah, that whole E buff is pretty huge. The fact that he's able to do that. Okay, good all. At all. Okay, he missed. If he hit that, he probably would have been able to stun me and then get his three off, but he missed. So that's good. Yeah, Yorm's all is so difficult to hit. I think once I get gem by so I can apply gem and then ult. Then basically just keep hitting my ult because my ult will keep applying gem. I think that's the way to do it. Also, getting as much tower damage as possible every time is really good. The best way to take power is use your 1, 3, split the pools, and then use your 2 for the empowered base packs. Oh, I still got him there. Very nice. I'll just do quite a bit right now. I got my, my Hunter's Blessing involved. Let's go take blue buff. That's kind of funny. It's kind of funny because this matchup's bad. I know it's bad. And we're, we're you know, pretty, pretty far ahead. Yet, yeah, last game I played, I actually played a couple games before this as a warm-up. I played against Scotty, and I thought that would be an easy matchup, because I would just shred Calder. But, no, Scotty just applies Dazed Effect, and then I'm dead. Actually, well, I think we got, I, I gotta go double defense. Nimi and Breastplate, and then depending on what he builds, Obsidian? I feel like I don't need any power. The power doesn't help very much. Pull down, pull down infection seems to be more important. Just making it so that he can't kill me. Warlocks might not be a bad item either. Warlocks with the man. Once I get Jen, that's gonna be so good. Good stuff. Okay. 
Is he staying? He's staying, the absolute mad lad. I mean, I'm sure he has his ult, right? No? I could try ult again, but then he'll just go up in the air, you know? Which kind of sucks. Okay. Oh, that almost got me. Alright, I'm going for it. Use your leap. Okay, now we wait. Alright, he juked that. I can't go back in. If I hit that one, I would have went in. But nope. Alright, I think red buff is up now, so let's go pick that at least. If I can. I should stop using my 3 for mobility. It's mainly meant for splitting pools. Yeah, look, even without any power, I'm doing tons of damage. I think Yorm maybe... I think it has been a build issue for me. Just just go go items that give you anything but power. <laughs> Spear of the Magic just isn't that great on Yorm, but I might need to build it. Because Obsidian is just only good against like double defense. Ow. I actually did no damage. Okay. I can actually juke with Speedy Shoes too, which is nice. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that, Hoi. Oh, standing the, standing it for the, the thorns. Good stuff. Okay. Let's see. Can I pick this here? Probably. If I use my one, and then I can empower my base stacks. So empowered base stacks mean that the meter don't go down for the passive. So if I use my two with the pools, the more pools I have up to three gives me an additional second of empowered base attacks. I would say that's the one thing about Yorm's kit that not many people pay attention to. I'm getting a good game against Hoi. I actually can't believe this. It's a diamond Hoi as well. I think I figured it out. You gotta go lots of defense on Yorm because his base damage is good enough. Bancroft is not the call. Not the call at all. Right, let's see what kind of pan items I can get. Oh, uh, let's see. Ring does? <laughs> uh, probably not. I do like ring does, though. Let's keep going like defense plus pan defense, like hybrid items, you know? The main gives me damage in physical form. This gives me cooldown. This gives me pen. Let's keep trying stuff like this. Obviously, come late game, it's not going to be that good. I do feel like Rangda's is good on Yorm because Yorm's auto attacks kind of are bad, and Rangda's increases that. Bad for taking objectives is what I mean. Alright, we can take a... Uh, I'll need gem also. So gem probably next item. Gem then, I don't know, Divine Rune if you get Slive still. Got it. Ooh, I don't think you should have done that. It's so hard to predict them, because it's like, is he going to juke me into Titan, or what's, what's the game plan? Got him! Okay, very good. I don't think I can take Bull Demon with this much health. I don't think I can take a Phoenix. But I do think I can take about half of Phoenix's health. Let's place the pools, getting ready for uh, empowering my base stacks. Oh, I need to use my three, though. All right, go, 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 go. Get some damage in. Ooh, that is not that much damage. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to take red buff now. But honestly, that much Phoenix damage for Yorm? Pretty good. Once Yorm takes Phoenix, he can win. So... Taking that small amount of damage over Phoenix, yes, will do. Okay, I think I fi I think I figured Yorm's, Yorm's build out for duel. This is good. This is good because it's not like the Hoi's misplaying big time. It's just I tried a different build. He doesn't have pen yet either, which is great. Wow, he gets a lot of distance off that. Ow.
That is not that much Phoenix damage at all. Okay, well now he's coming back, so I gotta recall. Hmm. He's about to get his executioner. Once he gets the executioner, it's all over. What am I to do? He's probably gonna go execute your Titans Bane. I wouldn't even blame him. What am I to do? I can't go for Bolding Moon because he will steal that easy peasy. Well, maybe I could. I can bait him at Bolding Moon. That's the most I can do. But I can't really chase him that well. I am coming for you. I always do a good amount. What sucks is selling Hunter's Blessing hurts me, because there's not really a good item I can replace it for, except for a ring does. Which is kind of silly. No. Nope. If I go for that, he's going to take my Phoenix and my tower. Which I can allow. Your middle tower is under attack. Let's see if I can bait his escape. Can I bait your escape, please? I mean, that's not really the way I want to bait it, but, you know. Should have waited for my one. So I can split the pools. Got it. Who does more damage? Me or you? Okay, you do more damage slightly. See, most people would be like, why aren't you popping thorns, right? If I pop thorns there, he would just run away. I hold on to my thorns until they ca they're they fully 100% committed. Because if I don't, they just run away and I get nothing off of it as a guardian. Now, the reason people find that strange is they usually play other gods in duel that can go for bull demon. Uh, Yorm cannot go for Bull Demon. Let's say I pop my thorns there as a hunter. I could have been like, oh, I'm going for Bull Demon now and taken it. But I can't do that as Yorm. Yorm's damage for Bull Demon is just not good enough. <sighs> I might I might be forced to try and go for it, though, because he's just he's not even fighting me anymore. Which this is kind of how our, all Guardian matchups go. However, when I'm playing Geb, I can build Polly, which lets me take Bull Demon, you know? If I'm playing... Ares, I can do the same thing, although Ares kind of... I would say Ares is you on <laughs> at this point. I should keep him standing on the pool. And I got half of it. Let's see if I can secure it with my two. Where is he? He didn't even come to try and see if I was taking it. He didn't even try. What was that about? If he was there, it's like... It's not really easy for me to secure, you know? Why did he not even walk over there? He just gave me a free bull demon. If I can escort these minions into his phoenix, that would be so good. Because then the backdoor protections will be gone. Right now, that's what I want to do. Okay, minions minions got into the range. Now I just need to not leave the phoenix. If I leave the phoenix range, then, uh, then it goes away. I'm, does he realize that? Yeah, backdoor protections are gone. Kind of want to keep him from backing though. Okay, backdoor protections are back, but so low it doesn't matter. Wow, your ult is so slow. It's so slow. Holy moly. I wasn't even able to get close. I started channeling around the time he started his back. Either way, I get red buff. This is so good. I'm so happy. A good Yorm game against Ho Yi. I did not expect this at all. Alright. We need... Okay, so now... Um, 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 um. Obsidian, I guess? No, no, no. Spirit Desso. Spirit Desso. Spirit Desso gives cooldown and more power. Obsidian is just... It's garbage, man. It really is. Especially when they only have 104. That's only giving me like 20 pen with from Obsidian. It's gonna give me like 20 pen. That's not that much. Considering that it has no no other stats to offer. Spirit Desso does. Okay, now we can start focusing Titan as well. Let's do damage now with this executioner. I see you. I see you. 
Okay, that was not the move. See, now he's in, he's forced to stay. That's why I popped my thorns, because he he was forced to engage there because he uses his, his uh, escape thingy. His leap. That's what I want to say. Okay, now we got to run. Uh, not that much Titan damage. He is getting Frostbound too, which sucks. But, oh well. Soul Reaver is pretty good on Yorm too, but not when they're not building health. I mean, he has Frostbound, but that's not that much health. It's not worth. Let's get Power Potion. Okay, this is our complete build. I could sell Dynasty Plate Helm later. I could sell for like, I don't know. If I'm ruined for his bracer, I guess. I just don't feel like Obsidian's that good, so... Unless they have, like, triple defense, or two big defense items, I'm not gonna get Obsidian. And that's because Obsidian doesn't even apply to structures, and that's Yorm's weakness. Yorm needs the pen for structures. Like, if I'm doing a little bit less damage to him, but in exchange, I'm actually doing damage to Titan, that's fine. Because he's just gonna clear like that all day. He really got frostbound. He really did do that. How long till Phoenix is up? Oh my god, Phoenix is up right now. If I use my two here, he's dead? Question mark? Got him, yes! Is that game? Is that game? Please tell me that's game. Please, I want a Yorm win. Please, I have like a 10% win rate on Yorm and Duel. Yes! Finally! Finally, I figured it out. You gotta go like full defense on Yorm. Full defense with flat pen and speedy shoes. What the heck? There is no god like this in the game. Like... He plays so differently from every other god. Or at least the gameplay is similar, but the way you have to build because his auto attacks aren't that good against structures is just so different. Oh, that's satisfying, though. That feels good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I finally enjoyed having a win. I could look, show you guys my history for Yorm. It's so many losses. Either way, if you guys have any tips that you have found to be very good on Yorm, please let me know. Um, I'm, I'm down to try new things. Um, some of the, um, yeah, it's not just, let's, let's, I want, I don't want to end the video yet because I want to look at the, the scoreboard and stuff, the details. Player damage? Okay, I did, uh, double his player damage. Damage mitigate, that's what I want to see. 31,000. Yeah, yep, yep. I think that's the one way I can do it. Don't get me wrong, the Hoi didn't play perfectly, but he didn't misplay that hard either. So it did feel like a legitimate win. I was, also, I gotta show you guys, hang on. Before I end this video, how do I go back? There's no back button. Oh, that's because the game went down. Either way, I just wanna show you guys I'm still in Masters. Um, I haven't, I, um, I got back in Masters a couple days ago. But anyways, have a good one, and thanks for watching this amazing game.